Using Getex, navigation is even made easier than ever. Key highlight is that you don't need to know context to go to a next page, pop out of a page and even open snack bar, dialogues, bottom sheets without context. Let's see how it's done. Consider an app that has three pages, post list, post details and a settings screen. We will use get to navigate between the screens. First, use get material app instead of material app. Using get.2 will bring a new screen on top of the stack. In this case, post detail screen. On pressing the back button, we will navigate back to post list without writing any code for that. It is handled automatically. Using get.off to remove current screen from stack by a new screen. As you see, once we move to settings screen, we cannot go back to the previous screen because the stack has only one screen at the moment, that is settings screen. To explicitly go back to previous screen, we have also used get.back. The get.offall method removes all screens from stack and pushes the specified screen. Now when you get back from a screen, you might require some result back from the second screen to the first screen. Let's see how it's done. Take the response into a variable when you call get.2 and print that data. And in the settings screen, add a result while calling get.back. As a result, you will see the result printed on the console. You can use named routes as well. So let's define the pages in the get material app with named routes. Post detail and settings. Now just use two named instead of two with the route path. Similar to two named, you can use off named and off all named, etc. Just add named after the default methods. You can also add transitions for a page to open with an animation. Just use transition in the get page and give it any transition like transition.circularReveal. Additionally, give it a duration as well. To supply arguments in named routes, you can pass any object in the arguments attribute. Here we have passed these are arguments. Now to fetch these arguments in the details screen, you can use get.arguments. Remember, this can be any object as well. Now, you can also send query parameters in the named route like post detail question mark id equals to 1. Alternatively, you can add parameters as a map while calling get.toNamed. So, id colon 1 is same as passing in the route. While reading these, you can read by get.parameters and in the single quotes, id. Now let's touch base upon opening snack bar, dialog and bottom sheet without context. To show a snack bar, call get.snackbar with title and description. You can also configure it very well with the duration of snack bar, on pressed, dismissible, position of snack bar, etc. To open dialogs, use get.dialog. Or get.default dialog. To open model bottom sheets, you can use get.bottom sheet with a widget supplied to it. And that's it for the navigation in this video. I believe that you will like this navigation easiness from GetX library. It abstracts many things and helps in reducing boilerplate code. Also, this all happens without using context. All you need is get material. Leave your feedback in the comments and show some love by hitting the like button and sharing this video in various Flutter forums. And if you are new to this channel, support me and the channel by subscribing this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.